Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. We're headed down to the barn. <laughs> Second day in a row I'm taking the camera, but I'm so nervous about bad things happening. I like Sam set a trap last night. So we can see if we can catch whatever is getting into our barn. So uh, yesterday was the first day of spring and it looks like this outside. So cold that we left all of our goats inside. We actually have a really good camera and the quality has been like, crap lately. So every once in a while I have to reset it. This camera, oh I can see it's bad again. Do you think we have to put sweaters on? Well, just the triplets, but I only have two. No, there's three. Anyway, good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. I'm going to work on this camera and try and get it going a little bit better so we have better quality videos again. Um, if you missed yesterday's video, we lost a very important part of our little farm yesterday. It was really awful. Lucy was killed before we got down. Uh, Zoe was still alive when we found her. We took her up and we wrapped her up and got her nice and warm and we're waiting to call the vet. It was before the vet office opened. We were waiting to call the vet because we were gonna try and save her no matter what. And she died really quickly after we took her up to the house, but she was in our arms, was so happy to be with us. Like, death happens, I get that. Where I get stuck is that the fear and the, and the, what the animals went through before they died, like, that's the part that really hurts me. Sophie and I made the executive decision to leave the goats inside this morning and we're gonna reassess by afternoon. I'm sitting here with these things. Because it's so super cold out. It's this awful. One this one too much. Did you put sweaters on them? Oh, should I? Well, are they actually shivering? We're not anymore now that they're moving around. I know. Every time I come down and they're in there, all cuddled in. These three. This one's really sweet though, if his brother stopped humping. So, yeah, stop that. This one gets humped because it's the sweetest. Is it the sweetest? Yes. But these two have done it. This one screams more than that one. You're really cute. You want a nice back massage? Just, <laughs> just get a goat on your back. <laughs> I know. I see like people do goat yoga and it's where they let goats climb on their back. Yeah, well, they do yoga, but literally oh, they give the best back massages, but so do pigs. So do baby pigs. Is that my finger bed? Hi, little boy. You're so cute. So this little gold guy is lightened up just a little, I feel like. Don't let them Ow. suck your fingers. You might have bad germs in there. And then they get in the habit of trying to suck people's fingers and then people get scared because they think they're biting them. <laughs> but look, he's really white, isn't he? I thought for sure he'd have more gold on him. Yeah. And he just has little teeny tiny that. bits of gold. We're not teaching that. Yeah, we're not teaching any kind of funny business. We already taught ta that with all he knows. They are super cute. They have like tripled, tripled in size. Tripled in size, tripled in weight. They're pretty heavy now. Stop fighting. Rosie is not a mom yet. Rosie, hey, hey, Rosie. And she does not love babies yet, but she will. Soon as she will. Couple more months. Hey, Rosie, be nice. <laughs> Aren't you cute? So that's Harley, and he's the one that looks most like Winston. He's really wide, really solid. And then that's Hershey, the taller guy. But they're all really similar weights. But Hershey looks a lot more like his mom, confirmation-wise. <laughs> they're like bugging her on purpose. They're like, na 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 boo boo. <laughs> they need long hair. Anyway, uh, they've been inside. Uh, Rosie, come here. Don't go that way. <laughs> anyway, we'll come back down this afternoon, like at lunchtime, and check and see how everybody's doing. If it's warm out, we'll let them out, but there's no sense letting them out. Yesterday, we let them out first thing in the morning, and all the babies were stuck in little tires out there freezing to death uh oh winston wants out come give winston a little run let him out oh look at winston just called on rosie <laughs> can 
Can you put Rosie back in her bed? Hi, Winston. Oh, look, his hackles are up and everything. Hi, big guy. Oh, he's so big. And he's only a month old. I think Winston likes his collar. I think Winston likes food suddenly. He's, he's a boy. He's going to like food. He's a big boy, Can though. I the other two babies out? Sure, we only have a couple of minutes, so school, you know. Some kind of magical woman, my love's for real. I need to show you right now. Take a look at me now. I can't explain what a life in me, what you did to me when the magic of the summer is set. Canada is usually just an extension of winter. It's usually like this. But because this year was so warm in winter, I'm hoping, I'm anticipating a really nice warm spring. Otherwise, we're just kind of in this kind of wintry like, weather for the next three months. I like the winter better. It three months. Winter. You like the winter better? It was less wintry. This winter was days. nice. These gates, honestly, are the bane of my existence. I remember moving in and people saying like, you guys are gonna hate those gates. Yep, I hate the gates. I mean, they're good. They, they work, other than the raccoons. Okay, so you guys know we lost our beloved duck and our goose. And oddly, we have eggs in the ink, we have eggs in the incubator. We've been candling them and it's been a lot of days and it looks like none of them are fertile. I'm just reading the comments and actually was so surprised to see people upset that I said that I have a really bad back and that I have severe arthritis in my back. And the truth is, I have struggled with my back my whole entire adult life. Not only do I have severe arthritis in my back, but I also have sciatica. And my back is feeling a lot better today. The last three days, I think I pulled my muscle. Um, sciatica is what gives me the most problems. I've had a lot of issues my whole entire life with sciatica. Bending down is really hard. I'm really tall. I'm 5'9 and 3 quarters, so I'm almost 5'10. And I am, have a really long torso. So, so working in a field for most of my life that requires back strength has really been a, a trouble for me. But the other thing that happens to me is that I'm tall and countertops and stuff are really low. So for me to work at the counter and, and cook and do all the normal things that you would do in your house, cause strain on my back. The only way, and even like when I would be working at someone's bedside, so in the healthcare field, whenever I'd be like repositioning somebody in their bed or, or taking care of someone, performing activities of daily life or, or whatever you want it to be, at the bedside, I'd have to spread my legs so wide just to be short enough that it wouldn't cause my back pain. I've always had a really bad back. The sciatica worse than the arthritis. The arthritis just makes me feel really tight often. And when I had my fall off penny, I had a lot of x-rays of my back and they were shocked and said, oh my gosh, you have severe arthritis. Like they were blown away by the level of arthritis that I had in my back. And they were like, you know, you have really bad arthritis. And I said, all it does to me is make me feel tight. It's the sciatica that causes the most problems and maybe they're intertwined, I don't know. But what happened the other day was that I've been sitting on the floor a lot with the, with the pig trying to get her to bond with me and just being down like that and trying to get back up really pulled the muscle. Sciatica is when the muscle sits on top of the nerve or the nerve sits on top of the muscle. I think the muscle sits on top of the nerve. So when you pull that muscle or you strengthen that muscle or you work that muscle and it swells up a little bit, it gets inflamed, then it pushes on the nerve. So when I was sitting on the floor all that time, it caused that muscle to get inflamed and then sciatica shoots nerve pain down your, down your leg and across your hips. And that's what I was struggling with the last couple of days. So 
I am so sorry to all the people that have severe arthritis and it's debilitating. Arthritis can absolutely be debilitating, like to the worst way. And everybody handles pain and everyone handles illnesses differently. I'm one of those people that never lets anything get me down. Carrying feed bags, absolutely really difficult for me. Carrying anything in front of my body is really difficult for me and I just don't, I tend to shy away from stuff like that. When Sam had his surgery, I started carrying feed bags and that that was really difficult for me, but I'm the kind of person that pushes through. In fact, I had five babies, you guys, five, with no epidural and no pain medication. I just went to the hospital, just like I am today, and I gave birth to all my babies. And the doctors were always like, I can't believe you did it, I can't believe you did it. And I did it five times because I am the kind of person that perseveres through pain and not everybody is like that. We all have different pain tolerances and I have a really, really high pain tolerance. So I just wanna say, yes, I do have back issues. I've had them my entire life. I've been debilitated many, many times from them. Just like you saw the other day where it was really difficult for me to even stand up. I wish I had showed you guys, you, you would have been shocked because me just walking around filming was a whole heck of a lot different than me trying to stand up and like it was awful it was like a pinched nerve running down my leg every time I tried to move and oh it was awful but anyways I do feel bad for all the people who are debilitated by their arthritis and who have issues even that are arthritis that make them not be able to live the life to the, live their life to the best and that's something that I worry about and I worry about my back ever withholding for the rest of my life I feel a little bit sad that I gave up so much of my health to a job that I feel should have protected us more when I first started working in, in nursing it was just body mechanics and if you're but I was a tall person so no matter how well I did my body mechanics there was I wasn't balanced enough like if you're short and you're balanced your body's balanced it's so much easier on you than if you're tall and you have a tall torso it just doesn't work the same so I feel devastated that my back probably won't last me my whole entire life and there's gonna come a time that I'll have to accommodate my back more on our farm I already do make accommodations there will be times when I have to um, do things differently already I carry the grain in a wagon or I carry it on a sled in the winter time like we already I don't carry water buckets out to the chicken thing Sophie does it like there are a lot of changes that I already make and it makes me sad and I feel for anybody who has to struggle with that also I just wanted to point out that just because somebody doesn't share with you doesn't mean that they don't have problems most of the people that you meet walking out there almost everybody that you meet out there has some kind of issue people their so depression is such a silent thing you can't tell anxiety is such a silent thing like everywhere I go people ask me if I'm okay because my back is obviously not well it's so tight that it makes me kind of hunched in the middle of my back it kind of like is shrunk a little so just because you can't see it or just because you don't know about it doesn't mean that it's it's not true. Thought I lost the pig. Ellie! Come on, Posey! <laughs> oh my gosh. I have two Ellies now. Come on, little girl! <laughs> Come on, little pig! Come on! Taking her outside is the hardest part of having her. You all thought Ellie is not a good dog, that she doesn't listen? Well, let me introduce you to little Miss Posey. Come on, Ellie. Feels a little milder now, and I was gonna go let the goats out, but we are on our big weather advisory right now. It's supposed to be tons of snow and extreme cold weather. So I guess the goats are staying in. Come here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Posey's like, do you want to play? Ellie's like, maybe. <laughs> They're almost the same size. Aww. Aww. This is how I catch her. Watch this. So see how all the goats are kind of missing? They just walked away. Every day when I can't find the goats, especially when the weather's really cold and I'm worried about the babies, I send Sophie down and I'm like, Sophie, go check on the goats. But today I discovered something very smart. Okay, so watch this. If I push this button here, 
and it allows me to talk. Hey goats, come here goats. Where are you guys? Where are you? Come back. Oh look, there's a baby in there. Do you guys see it? Oh my gosh, they all just walked off and left a baby. So be, maybe they have to go in. That baby looks cold. Come on goats. Aw, I feel bad for that baby. Sophie, they're not Rosie listening. Rosie is with it, Mom. No. Rosie's, Rosie's not babysitting. She is. That's how I babysit. They must be far, they can't hear me. That's how Gabby Sophie babysits. Don't ever like Sophie babysit for you. Come on, goats, come on. Oh, shoot. Today I did it and they all came running. Oh, I heard something. If you hear the jingle jangle of their new bells. Wait. It worked, it worked, you guys. It just took a few minutes. Here they come. Do you guys see them? There's two, there's a baby there too, there's three. Uh oh, there's a bucket outside, Sophie. There's four. Come on, goats. They know I tricked them. There, the mom and the triplets. The mom and her triplets are right there. The only one that didn't come back was Mocha for her little brown baby. All right, guys, looks like we got a March blizzard. <laughs> so much for spring. Today's the first day of spring. Or actually, yesterday was because of leap year. And it's a blizzard. <laughs> Hopefully, this will be the last snowfall of the season we're just gonna oh my gosh look they ruined the spring. yeah yesterday was spring look they ruined the hay bale what the heck they like knocked it over anyways we're putting the horses in early it's only like an hour early but because of the blizzard and I got all the doors open in the barn I don't want to uh, I don't want all the snow in here and <laughs> I'm pretty sure Storm does not like being out in the blizzard. Don't know where he is though. Where's Storm? Oh, I forgot the light. Look at all the snow coming in there. That's why I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this before all the snow came in. Hi, Storm. You ready to come in? I know you are. All the horses know how to come in, so leave the door open, storm goes in, and then Penny. Let's see. There goes storm. You going in. This doll and Penny's coming next, see? They all know where to go. And then Willow comes in. And Willow's next. Goes by their pecking order. And Penny needs a new blanket next year. And then Willow comes in. And then the baby and Gracie stay in that stall at the end. Look at the big waterer there. Uh oh, you didn't give Penny her food. She's looking for her food. Usually I have Penny's food in there. And she goes to her food, so she's looking for her food. Yeah, and then we close that door and we feed them hay in here. Penny's got this huge stall. And she doesn't need, she's picky about her hay, so we give her fresh hay, but then she always digs in these two piles. I'm not sure what to do with these two piles of hay. I might have to empty it, and I might have to get a bag and put it on the wall. Like Storm and Willow have a hay bag feeder, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one for Penny and put it on the wall here. All right, so there you go. Penny's got square bales in there, like, flakes but I'll end up all over the ground so that's why I need a hay net in here I might actually take willows off the stall because she only gets a couple flakes you know three maybe four flakes depending how cold it is and she doesn't even she eats maybe half of whatever the Sophie filled up in it so I might take this bag out for now see how it's awful <laughs> might take that bag out for now and she just 
throws it on the ground anyways. And uh, give it to Penny for now. Anyways, we're done chores. That was quick. Only takes us, what, five minutes to do chores? With two people? Five, six minutes. Unless there's something urgent to do because normally all the other chores are done in the morning, like water and feeding. The only feeding we do is like Penny and then the, the two at the uh, end. Oh, look at that. Stop. This stuff's snowing now. I mean, we could have waited. Now it's sunny and it's not snowing. <laughs> Well, that was uh, terrible. Look how sunny it is now. There's a lot of dark clouds coming and I got a warning on my, my phone alert saying there's a snowstorm coming. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the